students of grade 11 and welcome to a lesson on non-fiction. For your exam, you will have to answer comprehension passages. While some of the passages you may have to read and answer on may be fiction, that is stories, some passages will be non-fiction. So what is non-fiction and how do we distinguish between non-fiction and fiction? It's very simple. If the passages carry facts and actual happenings, discuss the lives of people in a factual, truthful manner, they are non-fiction. Today, a majority of books that are sold in the world are non-fiction books. Literary works of fiction are works that aren't based on true facts. Typically, fiction appears as narratives. Think of great novels by the likes of Toni Morrison, R.K. Narayan, Mark Twain, Virginia Woolf, Nihal De Silva, Shyam Salvaduri and more. All these authors are great storytellers who weave great stories. Non-fiction covers everything else. The contents of non-fiction are rooted in true events. Although many non-fiction books, articles and essays offer strongly opinionated commentary on those true events, think of authors like Nelson Mandela who wrote books about their life adventures to help inspire people the world over. Non-fiction can be in the form of history books, biographies, autobiographies and memoirs. They can also be travelogues or travel guides, academic texts, journalistic articles, self-help books or guides to name a few. Keeping these genres in mind, let's turn to page 97 in your pupil's book, Unit 8, Activity 5. It's a comprehension passage based on Anne Frank, who wrote an autobiographical piece or a diary Anne Frank was a young Jewish girl who hid in 1942 during the Second World War from the Nazis during the occupation of the Netherlands. She is one of the most discussed Jewish victims of the Holocaust. She became famous once her diary was published after her death. On her 13th birthday, just before her family went into hiding, Anne was presented with a diary. During the two years in hiding, Anne wrote about events in the secret annex, but also about her feelings and thoughts. Let's now read the passage, which gives details about this brave young girl. Let's read it together and attempt the questions that follow. Read the paragraph about Anne Frank and answer the questions. Anne Frank was a Jewish girl who had to go into hiding during the World War II from the Nazis. Together with seven others, she hid in a secret annex. After almost two years in hiding, they were discovered and deported to concentration camps. Anne's father, Otto Frank, was the only one of the eight people to survive. After her death, Anne became world famous because of the diary she had written while in hiding. Anne Frank was born on the 12th of June 1929 in Frankfurt. The economic crisis, Hitler's rise to power and the growing anti-Semitism or hatred against Jews put an end to the family's carefree life. So following what most of the Jews did, they decided to leave Germany to save their lives. Anne and others in hiding stayed very quietly. They were often afraid and despite good and bad times, spent the time together. They were helped by the office workers, Johann Kleiman, Victor Kugler, Miep Gies and Bep Boskujil. But Miep's husband, Jan Gies and warehouse boss, Johann Boskujil, Bep's father. These helpers arranged food, clothes and books for them. Shortly before going into hiding, Anne received a diary for her birthday. She started writing straight away and during her time in hiding, she wrote about events in the secret annex, about herself and about humanity. Her diary was great support and source of relief to her. 
On 4th of August 1944, the people in hiding were arrested. They were deported to Auschwitz. Immediately after the arrest, Miepkes and Beb Woskajol rescued Anne's diary and papers that had been left behind in the secret annex. Despite intensive investigations, it had never been clear how the hiding place had been discovered. Today, people from all over the world learn of Anne Frank's story. Over the years, Otto Frank answered thousands of letters from people who had read his daughter's diary. In 1960, the Anne Frank House became a museum. Otto Frank remained involved with the Anne Frank House and campaigns for human rights until his death in 1980. That was a very interesting read, wasn't it? You would have noticed that the passage was a biography, which means someone has written about another person. Usually, we write biographies of famous people. The passage that we just read was highly credible. It had facts, information, descriptions pertaining to her life. Let's now look at the questions that follow the passage and do them together. Let's answer these questions using full, complete sentences. Where was Anne Frank born? Anne Frank was born in Frankfurt. Why did Anne Frank and her family members go into hiding? Anne Frank and her family members had to go into hiding during World War II to save their lives from the Nazis. Where did they hide? Use your own words for the answer. They hid in a separated section in a building that was unknown to anyone. Why was it impossible for Anne's family to remain in their own country? The economic crisis, Hitler's rise to power and growing anti-Semitism or hatred against Jews made Anne Frank and her family go into hiding. What kind of life did they lead in hiding? They stayed very quietly. They were often afraid and despite good and bad times, they spent their time together in hiding. What did she write in her diary? In her diary, Anne wrote about events in the secret annex about herself and about humanity. Why was she attached so much to the diary? Anne was attached to her diary because it was a great support and source of relief to her. Why did Anne Frank become famous? Anne Frank became famous because she wrote in her diary about events that took place while she was in hiding. Where was the family sent after they were arrested? After they were arrested, the family was sent to a concentration camp. I must say that was incredibly easy. I hope you enjoyed it too. Answering questions from non-fiction passages is easy. You would have seen some actual pictures of her life and her diary. Knowing true facts about people's lives can be helpful to see things in context. Today, Anne Frank's diary, The Diary of a Young Girl, is one of the most widely read non-fiction books in the world. I hope you found this lesson interesting. Please do subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and have a great day.